Greetings food surfers, it's Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And today we're gonna do another vending machines tour. We're starting out with a coffee machine. It's right here. Have a look. And this one sells coffee beans from around the world. A bunch of different types. We've got some mellow coffee. What else? Blended coffee. Colombian coffee. Oh, it's got five servings, so drip coffee. That's what that is. I'm interested in the beans, I think. Colombian beans sounds really good. 150 grams for 1100. Do you get the jar with the beans inside the bag? We're gonna find out. Oh yeah. Eleven hundred yen, number four for the Colombian. Sold out. Oh no. Uh, so it's gonna be original blend or mellow? Let's do mellow, shall we? We feeling mellow today? Mellow, number two for 900 yen. I didn't hear a loud thump. Well, you get quite a bit, and it is just the beans. It's not grinded yet. Here's what it looks like. It says Terrace Blend. So let's go inside the shop and see if they've got a grinder. Let's see my hey check out this machine it sells playing cards look at that different colors and this is really an old school machine i think it says playing cards some kind of cards 40 yen good price it's like uh 25 cent 30 cents let's get the pink ones here shall we Nice, what kind of card? Wait a minute, these aren't cards. Some kind of drugs? What is this? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna need to wash my underwear hair then use this soap powder. Three hundred yen? Nah. Check this out. Is this what I think it is? This is a yakitori vending machine. Chicken on a stick vending machine. This is a first. Oh, look at that. Oh, goodness. This may just be the holy grail of vending machines right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, everything's available. He just opened, look. Look at this beautiful display. Gorgeous. If they've got a stuffed chicken wing right here. That looks gorgeous. You get two of these for 500 yen, definitely into that. And then we've got the Moriyoase here, the mixed type. So five different kinds. And down here is also five different kinds, but different. So you can have 10 different types here. This looks like some kind of steak, or I'm not exactly sure what that is. It looks really good. And that, this is squid with uni, sea urchin, and squid mixed together. Sashimi stuff. <laughs> Let's do it. Do I have enough money? Uh, credit card? Cash. Cash man. Definitely cash. Right, let's, let's do the wings first. That looks really amazing.
They're coming. Mm. Dan, Dan, I got the net. Dan, I got the net. Hold up. The machine doesn't like me. Oh, thank you, thank you. Stuffed chicken wings. I'm loving it. Yeah. Definitely got to do the squid. Sashimi style. This is pretty rare for 700. Okay, number three. Come on, come on, guys, come on. We got it, we got it, we got it. Ooh, look at the color. You can see the uni, the uni is the orange, the sea urchin. Gorgeous looking. Let's get the yakitoris now. Mixed yakitori. Let's do number five. Beautiful packaging. Five of them in there? Yeah. Just kind of wrapped around, top and the bottom. And number eight. There you go, and these are Hopefully five different ones. Yeah, they're different. Nice. And the last one, let's get this right here. That looks so good. What is that? It looks like some kind of amazing Wagyu, doesn't it? Uh, number nine. Wait a minute. I think that kanji, uh-oh. I think that's ho maybe horse meat. Not sure. Woo, look at that, it comes with sauce. Well, this is the mystery meat. And it looks like it comes with some onions. And this is also gonna be sashimi style. Koi. What's that? <laughs> Gonna get on a train here and go to the next station, but I've got a few minutes to wait, and there's a machine here that sells hot soups. It's still fairly cold in Japan, so hot soup. This one is a ramen soup. That's interesting, never done that before. This is the miso soup with clams in it. I've done that one once before, it's good. And this is the standard corn soup. We'll do the ramen, ramen soup. No noodles, just the soup. I don't think it's got noodles. Do it. Come by. Oh, it's like pork broth soup. Wow. Oh, it's really rich. This is surprisingly good. I've been hesitating to try this one because I thought it would be boring, but... Wow! Delicious! Full of flavor. Mmm! If there were noodles inside this, this would be magic. Okay, train's coming, gotta shotgun it. 
Oh, it's really hot. So I just got off the train and found another vending machine. This one sells newspapers. It's even got the English there, newspaper. Unfortunately, it doesn't sell English newspapers, but uh, that's okay. I can always work on my Japanese. A uh, bunch of different types. This one's the Tokyo Mainichi Kanagawa Sports Asahi. I think the Asahi is the best one. And yeah, they're available. 160. Let's do it. This is an old school machine. I'd say built in the 80s, probably. It's probably 40 years old. All the way down here at the bottom. That is cool. That is cool. I'm gonna read that on the way home. So apparently there's a bread vending machine at this train station, so let's go see if we can find it. But before we get to the bread, let's get some dessert, shall we? From the Pucci Mall, or in English it's called the Petite Mall. And this machine I would say is the most common snack machine in Japan. You find these everywhere. But there's a new item today the chocolate waffle right there, I've never seen before. So let's move in on that. Price is 180, number 18. This is pretty small and I'm gonna Probably going to be eating this with Mega Brain, so maybe I should get something for him too. How about those legumes right there? Grape gummies, soda flavored. That's interesting, huh? Let's, let's try that. It's called fettuccine. Uh, how much is it? 110, it looks like. Sweets for later. Now I don't have to shoot the close up later, right? <laughs> or do I? I just do anyway. Just yeah, in you'll case. just do it anyway. I do it anyway, just in case. So I have found the Pontrepreneur bread shop. Pon is the Japanese word for bread, and then entrepreneur, entrepreneur. So they change entrepreneur to Pontrepreneur. Pontrepreneur. Entrepreneur. I don't know. It's a tongue twister, isn't it? Pontrepreneur. Mm -hmm. But they sell frozen bread. Or you can go inside and get freshly cooked bread. Well, of course, it's the frozen bread. That stuff's delicious. I know, because it comes from a vending machine. Yeah. And I gotta take it home, so frozen is perfect. Yeah, let's do it. What do they have? Bread with nuts. Love nuts and bread, that's good. Bread, not pastries, but pretty legit bread. And fairly pricey too. Huh. All right, well, we'll get the nutty one for sure. I like me some nuts. And then maybe I'll try one other type. Okay, so number two, let's do that. And we'll eat this with the yakitori. Yeah. Yay. 
Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty good. You get a fair amount. I am nuts for some frozen bread. Looks like maybe a rye bread, and then there's a white there, a couple different types. Looks like you get six slices, maybe. Two packs. All right. And uh, maybe we'll try, I think these buns here look good. These look really good. Let's do that. 560. And those two are sold out. Yes, yeah, I knew those were really nice looking. They're both sold out seven and eight. Too bad, too bad. That's a... Uh... We'll take the L on that one. Yeah. All right, pondering what we should get. How about these two? These look good. It's number six. Somebody said, Eric, whenever you go to vending machines, just get stuff that's number six. So, all right, whoever you are. Number six, coming up. Oh, this is nice. A lot of volume here. So a bun and then loaf bread here. It's cut in half. Looks good. Looks really good. It's pretty rare to find bread in a vending machine. Pretty rare. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, this machine sells. What does it sell? Lots of goodies. Ha ha ha. Bibimbadon. It's a Korean dish, huh? Yeah. This is a kimchi dish here. Spicy curry. Looks interesting. And there's another machine here. This is kimchi. Looks like in a can. Huh? There's three different types in this one. These are the hakusai, the cabbage kimchi. Those are my favorite ones. All right, let's uh, let's get some, shall we? Yes, we shall. There you go. Let's get the uh, bibimbadon. That's the one, number three. I'm spending all my money today. Okay. Is it coming? Oh, hi, thank you. Oh, beautiful. Wow, that's pretty. Very pretty. Thank you. And let's try this one too. Love me some kimchi. This yeah, this is a very fancy kimchi machine. There's a shop over here, I guess, that sells all this stuff, huh? It's a bento shop. So, okay, I'm gonna do the huxine, the uh, cabbage. Ooh, it's pretty heavy. Yeah. yeah that's pretty nice. Kimchi in a can, and oh boy. Come in. Hey, what's going on? Oh, you're reading the newspaper. What is happening in the world of Japanese news? Rui Hachimura transferred to Lakers. Do you know? No. He's a, he's a Japanese basketballer, right? Yeah. Transferred to the Lakers? That's LA's team. Is he any good? He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Okay. Awesome. All right. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Starving. Okay. Do you still play basketball? A little bit. You do? Okay. No wonder you're interested in, uh, what's his name again? Ri Hachimura. Ri Hachimura. Plays for the Lakers. All right. I'm going to start watching some NBA. Yeah. All right. Let's start out with some drinks here real quick, shall we? I'm a bit thirsty. What do you got? You got milk? I got milk. I think I've shown this once before on camera. It's pretty interesting, but the last time I did it, it was a bit of a fail. It's basically draft beer in a can. You pop it and you hope you get a nice little head on the beer. Let's do it. 
without it spilling. A perfect head on the beer. Right? Last time it was like on the floor, wasn't it? Yeah. That's a pretty good head, huh? It's not overflown, but that's about right. And then we'll do cheers. Cheers. It's just like drinking out out of a mug, a frosty mug. That really works. Oh, I mean, you could just shotgun it. <laughs> mm. I'm really thirsty tonight because I cycled to Enoshima today and found some more vending machines, actually. <laughs> so vending machines are everywhere in Japan now. It's just they are expanding at an alarming rate, these food vending machines from specialty shops. And tonight is no exception. We've got like bread from a bakery out of a vending machine. This is some nut bread. Are you a bread eater? It's kind of nice looking bread, right? For dinner, yeah. no rice for a change. And then yakitori. That's a first, getting yakitori out of a vending machine. Where would you like to start? We've got a couple salads. The bread. The bread, okay. We're just gonna get in for the bread. So this is nut bread, I've been mean, nut or fruit bread. Well, oh, pineapple? <laughs> it's a pineapple. Pineapple bread. Actually tastes pretty good. Yeah. It's not as good as pineapple on pizza. That's typically in Japan, the bread is, it's all white bread, right? It's called yeah. shokupan. To find different types of bread, like wheat breads and like things like this, nut bread, fruit bread. And there's ham inside. Stuff we got ham in here. Hmm. All right. And we've got butter over here as well, too, to try some of the other stuff. So we'll eat more of the bread with some of the other items. This one is calling me the green salad. Okay, this is regular garden variety spinach with sesame seeds. Smells really good. So cooked spinach. Nice. The way I eat my spinach typically is uh, I put it in a smoothie and blend it all up. Spinach and smoothies. Ready? <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's really nice. This is one of two items tonight that didn't come out of a vending machine. Everything else came out of a vending machine. Would you like some bread with that? No. Okay. okay. Moving along. It's your choice. Let's see the yakitori. Good choice. Yeah, get it while it's hot, right? Yeah. This was two packs or five each, and both of them are moriyawase packs, which means variety packs, right? So everyone should be different. So, I guess we're not going to share because typically yakitori, it's like your stick is your stick. I mean, you can just take all of it off of the stick, but it's more fun to eat it off of the stick, don't yeah. you think? So, I think maybe we'll not share tonight. So, basically, you try your yakitori, try to identify what it is, because sometimes people don't know. It's tricky sometimes, right? Yeah. And then, a brief explanation of what it tastes like. Okay, go ahead. You can choose. Do you know what most of these are just by looking at them? No. Because I think I do. I know this one. That's Momo, right? The standard? Yeah. yeah. Momo is uh, thigh, thigh meat, dark meat, which is the most common. Okay. I'll just take this one right next to it, which is, I don't know, heart maybe. Maybe. It's like a, a tougher chicken. Like in Japan, they use all parts of the chicken, right? They basically eat all parts of the chicken. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. All right, cheers. Dang. Oh. Mine's some kind of hormone. Oh. I'm going to save this for the chef. <laughs> this it's, one's good. It's good, right? And the guy that, that runs the shop, was he was really friendly. He showed us the inside of the machine. Mm. 
so meaty. And um, he's got a nice little shop, so you could dine in as well too there, or do takeout or get it from the vending machine. Really cool guy. Oh, I choose, huh? Do you like the skin? No. Okay, I'm going to do the skin. This is the skin, right? Yeah. Okay. Chicken skin. I'm going to do the skin. Okay. Those are like meatballs, right? Yeah. Minced. Mmm. Oh, the chicken skin is it's buttery. Very nice. Wow, that is tasty. And it's got a nice sauce on it, too, doesn't it? Yeah. I like that. So typically you can order yakitori either with sauce or salt, right? Shio is the other. Yeah. And typically, like, the chefs will ask you, would you like salt or would you like sauce? And for the most part, sauce is better. It's a richer sort of taste. But for the pureness and being able to taste the chicken, then I would say salt probably is better, right? Yeah. Because the, uh, the sauce really overpowers it. Okay, next. One of these is going to be liver, which I don't feel too good about. <laughs> Do you know which one is the liver? They might both be liver because there were two different packs. Well, you do one, I do one. Okay. <laughs> no, mine's not liver. Is yours? You'll know if it's liver because it's foul. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. This is like steak. This is not chicken. This is steak meat. Mine too. You. Hmm. And sometimes they do that with yakitori. They mix in other types of meats. Yeah. So, steak yakitori. And this is just salted. There's no yeah. sauce on this one. Mmm. Yum. Bonus. That looks like uh, breast meat, huh? Light meat. White meat. Yeah. And maybe this one. This, they might be the same. No, they're different somehow. Let's do it. Oh, I got the bonjiri. The, uh, the rump. The butt. Gotta smell the butt. It smells like chicken. Mmm. But it's fatty meat. Oh, so good. I used to really, really like this. This was, used to be my favorite, but it's a bit too fatty for me now. Well, same? Is that the bonjiri or different? It's different. It's the breast meat. Breast meat, okay. This one's got garlic on it. It's garlic mixed with chicken. A lot of garlic, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Four pieces of garlic. And this one? Another type of chicken, but check out the garlic on this. Let's give them a close up of this one. This is pretty cool. You guys see that? It's a lot of garlic. <laughs> okay, well, we're not sharing, so go ahead, you choose. It looks like it's wrapped in bacon. It's garlic wrapped in bacon, that's what it is, right? I think. I think it's chicken skin. Is it chicken skin? Oh, it's okay. Correction. <laughs> Gar garlic wrapped in chicken skin. All right, I'm doing the mystery item here. Let's do it. Mmm. This is like thigh meat again, I think. It's dark meat chicken. Just salted. Mmm. Oh, yakitori is so good. Yeah. Oh. I think yakitori, it's got to be my top five foods, top three foods in Japan, yakitori. Yeah. If you guys come to Japan, you definitely got to try yakitori. Yeah, definitely try yakitori. Oh. And you can get it pretty much anywhere, even the supermarket sells it, right? What? Go to a restaurant and have it. It's not that expensive. So bibimba is Korean vegetables over rice, and there's some meat. One of the items is like a ground meat. A lot of volume, a lot of vegetables served over rice. I'm going to go with the greens. A little bit of rice. And some bread and butter. Good old-fashioned. There you go.
Ooh, sourdough. You probably never had sourdough. You might not like it. I, was, I think the first time I had it, it was, it was really sour. It was like, what is this? You taste the sourness? It's not this, it's pretty mild. Yeah, it's sour. Huh? It's been ages since I've had sour bread. Wow, it's good. Or sourdough. Going in for the big bean bow. Oh, right away you can tell Korean style vegetables are different. Right? Yeah. Right? The sauces and the taste of Korean vegetables is what? It's the seasonings. There's kimchi in here too. Get some of that ground beef. Oh, that's good. Marinated meat. Whoa, kimchi. We got a whole bowl of kimchi here that came in that can. A drinks vending machine that's been different items, right? Yeah. So this is better than that. Typically, I think, right? Kimchi should be eaten cold, right? Yeah. And there's many different types of kimchi. This is the hakusai kimchi or the, it's like the big cabbage. Yeah. Well, this is my favorite one. There's also what, the daikon one? Right, which is pretty popular, daikon radish. And there's what, the cutie, the cucumber. It's yeah. another type, there's a lot of different types. And basically, it's just spicy. <laughs> Can you tell the difference? Yeah. Do you agree, the cold? I agree. Cold is better? Okay. There you go. So these are stuffed chicken wings. I don't know what they're stuffed with though. The guy that ran the shop, very proud of these. He said, you should definitely try these. 500 yen for two of them. Bit pricey, but let's give them a try. What is that in there? Kind of minced meat. It's like a gyoza or yeah, something. It's, like a gyoza. it's gyoza and it's a dumpling <laughs> inside of a chicken wing. Interesting. Meat is tasty. And the bone's gone for this part of it, right? There's no bone in it. Just the, the handle. Oh, still got more of those. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. I think it's better than gyoza. Mmm. That is delicious. Next up. This one's a bit of an exotic one. Squid, the red part or orange part on top is sea urchin or uni. Not too excited about this one? No. Okay. That's your problem. You gotta at least try it. It's, uh, it's powerful. He gave me a sample of it and I'll, I'll just say what, it's powerful. One word, powerful. Yeah, it may just start with one. <laughs> Ready? Oh, I like slight cani miso. <laughs> it tastes exactly like crab brains to me. At first, it tastes like peanut butter. And then it just grows and grows and grows and just into powerful. No, you're not feeling it? No. You wouldn't go for seconds? No. See, I would, but the, the squid is nice and soft though, right? Yeah. A lot of times when you eat squid in Japan, it's, it's tough. This is nice and soft. The salad? The salad, okay. Chef salad number two. Yeah, it's potato salad, right? Yeah. I'll have bread with that. And dates in it. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's so hard to find bread like this in Japan. For the potato salad, there's a lot of things in here, huh? Mm hmm. This is really good. I think there's some mustard in it. It's got a tartness. Lots and lots of vegetables. Some ham, some uh, red onions. It's really good. And wherever you go in Japan, remember the potato salad is done different. You never get the same potato salad anywhere in Japan, I think, right? There's, it's one of those designer things. It's like a Caesar salad. It's very, very, very what? Free. <laughs> Free to make it however you please. Yeah. 
So potato salad, definitely one of those items. You want to just try the uh, the standard white bread here? Okay. I mean, you get two big loaves. Plus that in half. We're going to need that. We're going to have that with this last meat dish, which is an exotic one. And what kind of meat does that look like to you? Save it. You do the meat first and then follow it up with the bread. I think that's better. So okay. this meat, when I bought it at first, I thought it was some kind of steak, like Wagyu. Then I saw the kanji character and asked the guy, and he said, that's raw horse meat. And he says, it's very, very good. I wouldn't say it's popular in Japan, but, but you do see it on menus now and then. Have you ever had basashi? Yeah. Oh, you have? Okay. And I think it's served with, can you tell what that is there? Maybe onions or sauerkraut or something? Yeah. Okay. So you've had it before. And then there's shoyu here that you can um, dip it in. I've also had it before, but only once or twice. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Try a little bit of this. Yeah, it's like a sauerkraut. You won't like it. Oh, oh. The sauerkraut's awful, but the basashi, it's tender meat. What? It's juicy. It's, it's delicious. Yeah. It's actually really, really good. I, I just don't know how I feel about eating horse meat. It's, <laughs> it's very unique. Soft. Yeah. Chewy. I'm not gamey. Right? It's not foul. There's no smell. Try the white bread. Right? Now, this is the standard in Japan. Yeah. I would say 90% of the bread in Japan is this. It's like just loaf white bread or sliced white bread. It's a treat to get bread that's, that's different. And how convenient. It came out of a vending machine. <laughs> that's cool. They're selling it frozen, but, I mean, it tastes really fresh. You just... Just let it thaw out, and it's, wow, it's just, it's like fresh bread. This is bee brand honey, because there's a bee inside of the jar. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is a giant bee. So, we have brewed the coffee from the vending machine, and can you read what, what blend that is? What does it say? It says Terrace Blend. The Terrace Blend, that's what it is. I tried to get Colombian, but it was sold out. But this does smell really good, though. Even the blend. Take a whiff of that. You're not a coffee drinker, right? No. Smell it. Does that smell good or bad? Or indifferent? It smells good. It smells good. That's a good sign. Okay, so not a coffee drinker. We've established that. And you got a mug. Is, hey, is that the one we got from a vending machine? Yeah. <laughs> coffee cup from a vending machine. That was the king's treasure box, right? Okay. I got a big cup here. All right, and how, how do you drink your coffee? I, I mean, I drink mine black, but if you don't drink coffee often... I'm gonna add honey. Honey, okay, and that's, that's a special honey? That was a gift, right? Yeah. What's so special about that? There's a bee inside. <laughs> <laughs> a giant bee, it's a mammoth bee. It looks like the queen bee. That is so grotesque. Okay. Do you eat milk too? And milk. Okay. Yeah. If you don't really like the taste of coffee, milk it helps it. Okay. And we're going to have with that a chocolate waffle from the Cosmos Bakery. Well, it's actually it's from the Pucci Mall vending machine. It's a very popular snack vending machine. Coffee and a chocolate waffle. Mm, the waffle's chocolate too, isn't it? Yeah. It's a chocolate, what, breading or what, batter? It's not that sweet. It's nice and soft. And the coffee? Oh. See, typically I just drink cheap store brand coffee. Occasionally I'll drink some like Hawaiian blend coffee, the flavored coffees, but. It's nice to have a coffee once in a while that's like gourmet like this, different. Oh, it's good.
good. But see, if you drink the good stuff every day, then that's the only thing you can drink. You can't drink the cheap stuff anymore. So what do you think? It's good. Would you drink it again? Yeah. Hmm. All right. I will right, leave this bag then. You've got a whole bag of coffee. Let me just have a little sip of that. <laughs> it doesn't taste like coffee at all. It tastes <laughs> like flavored milk. It tastes like milk and honey. I think this is, it's like half milk. <laughs> Give it a go. The real deal for a non-coffee drinker. Let's see what he says. You can taste the coffee, right? Yeah. See, that's the purpose of black coffee, people. You can taste it. And it stains your teeth brown. Yes? No? No. Oh, no. Okay. I don't like it. Okay. Well, someday you might graduate to this. Someday. <laughs> someday. I mean, for me, a long, I drank milk with my coffee for many, many years. It took a long time to actually like the taste of coffee. A long time. Yeah. Okay. And so what did you think of the chocolate waffle? Nice and soft. Right? Soft. Yeah, good. Fresh. Probably preservatives in it, but good. And this is... Go ahead. You read this one. Get the tea in. Gumi. Okay. So we're having uh, pasta. Yeah. <laughs> pasta for dessert. Feta the, the shape of the gumi... It's, it's fettuccine shape, right? Those are after you. Soda flavor. And soda is a very popular candy flavor in Japan, isn't it? Soda. Yeah. Which basically means what? Like, how would you describe the taste of soda? Kind of a tartness, sweetness? It's, is it fizzy? It's similar <laughs> to lemonade, I think. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's really good. It's it's really what? It's powerful. Yeah. It's like uh, sour patch kids. Is that what those things are called? All right. There's a sourness to it. Oh, that's good. Oh, definitely recommend this. I thought it was going to taste like toothpaste because it's sort of, <laughs> right? Yeah. What's the color of that? Not toothpaste. It's good, huh? Oh, gummies. I believe that is going to do it for this one. Would you care to uh, rate this meal? Yeah. Okay. What did you, uh, what did you like the best? The yeah, story. Yakitori, of course. Yakitori, <laughs> it was good. Yeah. It was good. Even the, the hormone, a little weird, but, but quality. Definitely quality. Yeah. And I liked the... Uh, I'm, I'm going to say it. I, I liked the horse meat a lot. The basashi. The raw horse meat. Pretty good. And I liked the kimchi that came in the can. The cold kimchi. It's good. Um... And the bibimba, I mean, that, that's a meal within, within itself, right? Yeah. With, usually you don't get a lot of toppings on the bibimba, so that was nice. Okay. And for exotic ones, I'm not sure I would try this again. Squid and uh, what? Sea urchin. Sea urchin's pretty exotic. But I, I can eat it. And uh, typically people we eat, this is called what's called otsumami, right? So drinking snacks you yeah. would eat because it, it's not a big quantity. So no big deal, but anyway, okay. Give us a number, Mega. Where are you gonna go? I'm gonna go five. Five out of six, and today I am going six out of six. The coffee made the meal. I've had coffee <laughs> after a meal in a long time, a long time. But and the chef salads were good too. Come on, we gotta we gotta give the chef yeah. some credit. Yeah, we did have some help, and the bread. I forgot the bread over here. That's what it was. It was the bread that really made this meal for me. That's why I'm thinking six. So we're doing a giveaway, three of the Get Some Snack Packs. We've got a new batch in the room that we're over here behind us, and we are going to be assembling them tonight. 
We made, how many did we make? We made 30 of them. 30 of them. Yeah. So I might start doing more giveaways, actually, since there's 30 of them. Yeah, we'll see. So, or maybe we'll be a little more generous with the ratings going forward, or maybe we'll just give away more per video. Yeah, so the only thing you guys need to do is put a comment down below and you will automatically be entered for your chance to win. And we announce the winners in the very next Eric Mealtime listed in the video description. Okay, here it is, a look at the 30 snack packs, sneak peek. Woohoo! Get some! Chock full of stuff. Oh, oh, there's a reveal. They've got every burgers in them. Shock full of snacks. Oh, yeah. 30 boxes. Good luck. Hope you can get some. So thank you guys so much for watching. Slap a like on the video. A like, because you can't, you can't dislike the video on the, anymore, right? There's no, there used to be a thumbs down on YouTube. I think there's. There used no. to be. There used to be. No, I don't think so. No. Oh, maybe there is, but you can't see the numbers. Yeah. Okay, so there, okay, you can give the video a thumbs down. I can see the numbers for the thumbs downs. Yeah, but uh, anyway, we look forward to reading your comments. And good luck, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Eric and Mega, Alan.